Hey guys, Chris here with TechRecipes.com and today's tutorial is really awesome. I'm going to show you guys how to get WAMP Server installed on your Windows 7 machine. A WAMP Server is basically a local host. It's going to allow you to run things like Apache, PHP, MySQL from your computer offline essentially. And of course you probably already know this if you're reading or watching this tutorial. You want to get it working, you want to install it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to want to navigate to wampserver.com slash en will give you the English version of the website. I actually think it was made by some French people, which is interesting. Uh, so you want to come over to download here. And I'm going to grab this one right here because I have a 64-bit version of Windows, Windows 7. And you just click on it. Now it will give you this screen right here. It's going to say you must install Visual C++ 2002 Service Pack 1, yada, 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 right there. If you don't have this installed or you don't know if you have it installed, go ahead and download it just to be safe. In most cases, the 86 version will be fine if you have 64-bit. Um, or the 64, it doesn't really matter, but if you have a 32, you're going to want this one right here. So once you have those and you're good to go, we're going to click on you can download it directly. And it will take you to the WAMP download from the SourceForge site. We'll wait for it to start the download and we'll see it's starting right there. Wow, 25 minutes. You're going to get better internet. And we'll see it's sped up there, about 30 megabyte file right there. We'll let that download. And we'll double click the EXE to get it started. Hit run. Allow that. Let's minimize that. And you'll see this setup screen for the WAMP server too. Over here on the left will show you all the different versions for the services you're installing. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to accept the agreement. And the folder you install it to. So if I go to browse and go to local disk, we'll see WAMP is installed right here. That's where I personally like it. Again, you can put it anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. But keep in mind, this is where all your services will be. All your local site files will be is where you put this. So I'm putting mine on my local disks slash WAMP. So let's hit next. And it'll tell you this folder already exists. That's because I've had this installed before. If you ever tried to install WAMP before and you messed it up or you didn't quite get all the way through and you didn't delete the folder, it doesn't delete it. When you uninstall it, you'll see this message. Uh, would you like to install it to the folder anyway? You could hit yes. Uh, may be a good idea to go ahead and delete that folder so there's no conflictions or anything. I'm just going to hit yes because I'm a rebel. That's what I do. So right here it's going to ask you, you know, create the icons, yada yada. I'm going to hit next. It'll show you your destination where you're installing it and let's hit install and let this puppy install. Alright, now WAMP is going to ask you for the default browser and by default it tries to give you the nasty Internet Explorer which we don't want. So what I do is create a shortcut of Chrome on my desktop, send to desktop, I navigate to there and select Google Chrome. All you need is the EXE for that browser. So would you like to install the new WAMP server to your home page? Eh, yeah, sure. So it's finishing the install and right here it's going to ask for PHP mail parameters. This is for if you're using the mail function. I just go ahead and leave this one blank because if I'm going to be creating a mail function I'll just fill in those values later. So we'll hit next here and let's go ahead and click finish and launch WAMP server and allow that. Now you're going to say where is it? Nothing's popping up. That's because it resides down here in your taskbar gonna see this W icon for WAMP server it'll say offline I think it's just all glitched if the icon is green then nine times out of ten it's online so what you can do is left click on the icon yes left click and go up to local host and it will launch your browser and if it's successfully installed and working you will see this screen alternatively you can just open your browser and type in local host it doesn't matter and from here it'll show you the versions you have the extensions you have and all your projects which are the folders within your WAMP server folder that I showed you earlier. So I could click on this one, it'll take me to that directory and then I can load up a page and it's just like uh, your web server. So let me show you that. We can go to local disk, WAMP, and then all the files for your website will be in this www folder just like on a real server. And that is how you get WAMP 
up and going and again if that icon is red don't forget to click start all services here now sometimes you'll run into a lot of issues getting WAMP servers started uh, it does run on port 80 so there are things you can do to fix that uh, you could a lot of times Skype is the conflicting program because Skype also runs on port 80 so if you have Skype you can go through and Skype and change the port that that runs on or you can change the port that WAMP server runs on um, either or it's kind of irrelevant doesn't matter just change one I like to just change Skype and then you should be good to go alright thanks for watching